And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Trap News Network. We back in action with another reaction video, man. For those of y'all who don't know, man, I did some power lifting and then had 12 rounds of sparring right after that, man. My arms is tired. My legs is heavy, big dog. My legs is heavy, big dog. We finna get to this content, man. But before we do, man, we finna jump into these. Y'all can see what I see right now. Some things just don't make no sense. Anyway, um, not in a good way. That looks crazy. Uh, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. It all stays happening for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network? Some news you can use, some knowledge. Though you can't get nobody's college. Though that knowledge you can't get in college, big dog. Make sure you stay tapped in because November the nineteenth, we will be giving away. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll be giving away $250, man. $50 to the top comment between now and then. The best comment between now and then. Uh, $150 to the top comment between now and then. And $50 to the winner of the live music review. If you want to get registered for the live music review, drop off a uh, DM in my Instagram. T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. Trap News Network. And it's in the description below. There is a link so you can get to my Instagram. Don't even worry about it. Slide in the DMs. We will get you figured out. If you want marketing, advertising, promotion through TNN Trap News Network. It's T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. Trap News Network. Get into that so you can figure out how to get you some of this good marketing advertising advertising promotion we have going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use, some knowledge though. You can't get in nobody's college though, man. Make sure I get into that. Y'all ain't got into that. All right. Fed, that's that. No. Okay. My bad. Just trying to make sure I'm watching what I'm watching what I'm watching what I'm watching. All that. We finished up into this content, man, but make sure you get into Tasty. It's uh, live resin disposable. Uh, stick. Tasty live resin disposable. Live resin disposable cartridges, cannabis derived terpenes, premium category three distillate, no MCT, VD, whatever, like a rock band, man, blah, blah, get into that. They tasty live resin disposable cartridges. That's what you want to do, man. Get into those. You ain't got into those. Smoking cigarettes in the closed space is crazy. Um, Signature Honey Cigars, man. Shout out to TI. Shout out to Signature Honey Cigars, man. A better version of that product we won't talk about. If you want to figure out, if you want to know why we don't talk about that product no more, make sure you say, Taren, make sure you say, ugh, words are hard. Make sure you stay tuned in to the live music review Sunday, May the 19th, 3 o'clock Pacific time, 6 o'clock Eastern time. We will be going live and we will be talking about all the whoops and the whoop the bams. We finish up with this Contiana, man. We got Adam 22. We got Big Deal. We got Brick Baby. And they are talking about. Flockiana, that's right, Flockiana, Mr. Flocko himself, going up to Fig Community World multiple times. Let me jump into this Contiana without no further ado, or don't. Wait, hold on, my bad, my bad, wait, wait. My bad, y'all, I should have had it pulled up, but I don't. Just making sure the timestamps are right. All right, bam. Appreciate management for the timestamps, even though it's management, definitely management. Uh, three, two, one, let's go. It's all good. Hey, buddy, buddy, listen. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I just ain't turned it on no gang member over no podcast beef First that I wasn't here for. Bro, yeah, had I been yeah. here, if I would have been here, then cool. But it's like, all right, cool. He ain't said nothing crazy about me. I ain't said nothing crazy about him. I definitely got canceled for coming on back on Fig. So, mm. yeah, you know I mean, like, but you got oh, because you were supposed to at one point, and then you yeah. got uninvited. Yeah, why? They'll, uh, they'll have Flacco, but not you. That's interesting. Uh, so, you know, it, it it is what it is at that point, but I'm definitely not sparing no nigga either. Like, it just yeah. is what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? We would really been overseas together and all that shit, nigga, with Kid Ink and T-Raw and all that, that little shit. So it's like, you know him, Diddy, Chris Flicks, bro, them, like, I ain't going to turn on them over this because we already ain't supposed to be getting along. Yeah. So me hinting at that and getting into that, it got to be serious for me to get into it. Well, I can respect Brick Baby for saying that, man, because there's no reason why you should invade, in, in, in vain, involve gang, in vain, involve in gang put together, involve gang politics into podcast politics. One is not the same, and the same is not like one. Bro, no, I respect it for sure. I but I'm still with the fuck back on Figma. I'm the one that make all the good jokes. You know jokes be dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Flacco. Fla Fla Brick Baby laugh like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Love it over there, huh? Ah, man, he just likes being in the mix, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever he's accepted. He's yeah. like, oh, you're, pulling up, you're doing a 24-hour stream? I'm pulling up for 23 of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come <laughs> snuggle up next to you in your tent and everything. And get on a jumper and all. I don't think Adam 22 likes the fact that Flacco goes over there. It seems like that's a little bit of a, sh a shady 80 Kamiana. You feel me? Let me know what y'all think. But it seemed like there was a little bit of uh in that comment. It's a little bit of shade under that tree, big dog. 
All that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but because, all right, it, it is kind of crazy, though, because Flacco went on the Apollo and did a really good job of basically, like, making them, like, sowing some some confusion and being yeah. like, oh, y'all not getting paid. And all right, he like. Flacco did a pretty good job of going over there and being my errand boy and being my store runner and making things confused and causing a whoop of a whoop de bam and causing all kind of controversy because I really want to do it and I'm trying to see, seek and destroy him. Flacco was my torpedo and he did that for me. Good boy. You a good lap dog. I appreciate you. So look, so, so look, get it out, remix. So look, right? Flacco just played his part as a puppet. So look, right? Blink hard, blink hard, blink hard. That's basically what Adam 22 was saying. Flacco was a, he was a good little boy. He did exactly what daddy told him to do. Made everybody start kind of pocket watching you each like other. That. But then they tried to do the same thing back to him on Community the other day. When Mac, I, I didn't even see it, but I heard a little bit. Like, Makoff was, like, really getting on his case and shit. So the, they were trying to make sure they got a W uh, with Flacco, even though nobody oh, here even gives a, I didn't have a conversation about that shit with one single person who works here. So yeah, it's not like we were giving a fuck. I asked Flacco. What, 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 what conversation are they talking about? Please let me know. Somebody send me that uh, that link to the Instagram, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S, N-E-T-W-O-R-X. Send me the link to that. I would like to see that conversation. We tried to get it out of him on the nose the other day. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know. I was, yeah, I went. He just kind of kept it moving. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like you can't really, like, offend Flacco that easily. So it's, it's kind of hard to get, like, a real reaction out of him. To, yeah. to him, everything is, like, whatever. Yeah. Content. He not finna show his dashboard to nobody. Mm. Well, that's a good point too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, when you really making money, like, nigga, what the fuck you think I'm about to show you my dashboard? Like, so you can. Uh, he showed me. me something, but I don't know if it was his dashboard. It was. He, it was yeah. like a his yeah, account don't or do something. That here. <laughs> Please don't do that. No, Flacco's yeah, pretty yeah, open about how yeah, much money yeah, he makes yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. it'll be he'll just mention a number and you'll be like, yeah, for real? I, I, Damn, I, all right. I, I kinda tagged him in something like, man, what's going on? Man, they talking about you ain't making no chili. He like, oh, <laughs> I'm making some chili. Uh, he, he like, yeah, yeah between me and you. That is what we we'll say here at TNN Trap News Network. We're gonna give a big shout out, including you, Flacco, to everybody <laughs> making the chili. Shout out to the chili on of the chili chasers of the chili makers of the chili cheese. Fuck that. <laughs> Extra fries. Extra fries. Yeah, that's why I'm like. I'm I like, get, I, I kind of, I, I have faith way. in him. Though. Yeah, I'm like, he yeah, yeah, some yeah, chili. yeah, yeah, yeah. He good. But they were just trying to shoot their shots I at just, him. I just, you know, I like for my young nigga to move around without a target on his back. I tell him don't get to hint because you, you start seeing mm. them niggas around you. That's your friends now, and they start sniffing that other shit. You yeah. Know what I mean? mm. you, so Keem said that he would go on your podcast with you and Barry Gordy because he fucks with you guys. Yeah. And then actually, he even said. If Adam was there, whatever. Yeah. Which I was kind of surprised because I'm not even trying to set my sights on that. But I was thinking like you guys talking to him would be super fucking super interesting. Fire, right? But how do you feel about that? You think that Keem should fuck with him? And and do you think that then Keem's going to get shunned like you did? Yeah. Um, Keem should bust any move he want to bust. You mm. feel me? If he feel like he want to sit down with Brick, Barry Gordy and you, he should do it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because he, he's clearly making... Statements that he ain't getting no chili. Mm. But why so, the fuck can they? Why the fuck can certain people from here go over there and y'all they did they, they, but then with certain members from over here come over here? It's a problem because like, the amount of butt hurtedness over there is like a lot stronger than it is here, right? Because I'm not really true. Uh, not true because the T-Row came over there. You'd be upset. Anybody who says anything positive about T-Row, you have an issue with because you only bring upon people who have something negative to say about T-Row. Mill, big deal. Whomever else you might go in there and anytime you can, you bring up T-Row every opportunity you get to throw a dark negative cloud over his name. So you don't like T-Row. And it's all right because I can understand why you don't like smack, and that's all right because I can understand why. But let's let's stop acting like, well, I don't know what they did. I, I'm cool. I'm not worried about it. That's that white boy shit. Nah, bro, you piss. They got under your skin. They said something you don't like. You don't like how things played out. I can understand that. But let's, it's not. Look, man, it ain't nothing wrong with having feelings. This is what we do with our feelings that matter, big dog. That's what makes us, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So Adam Twenty Two trying to act like he's so cool. I ain't tripping. I ain't whatever, man. Blah blah. All right, yes, you are, bro, and it's cool. You don't like how that ended. Y'all was cool. Y'all was homies. Things were left. You don't really appreciate it. Feelings is involved. And I don't make nobody soft. I don't make nobody a, a, a female dog or nothing like that. It makes us men. That's how we deal with our feelings and make us better men. You know what I'm saying? That's the... About what Flacco's doing, so even you though... you got a Diddy case coming. But I'm he saying, Flacco so like my little brother. <laughs> like, like you, you and Terrell... Obviously, me and Flacco are not like we ain't known each other that long, but we do have like a little brother type yeah, relationship because I kind of like moved him out here, put him into the game. Like he clearly looks at me as like somebody who he owes a debt to that like he's, he looks at his success and he's like part of that is because of no jumper. So I'm going to have Adams back. 
I don't feel any type of way about him going there. If he gets yeah. served or if he makes shit look good, it's like whatever, bro. Like, I, I'm, yeah. you know, like it's not gonna affect no jumper. If anything, it's gonna make no jumper look more cool if you're able to go in that environment yeah. and all these people who, because some percentage of the fans are like really brainwashed to think like, oh, no jumper's evil. Yeah. So if Flacco or whoever goes on there, I'm not really tripping about it. But you know, if it was like every day, every week or whatever, then I would probably feel some type of way about it. Then it's like a job. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Unpaid yeah, job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Working over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nah, hold on. Nah. Like, oh, nah. For anybody who cracks their neck, watching Break Baby crack his neck just made me crack my neck. And watching me crack my neck, I'm sure just made you crack your neck. It's a thing. If you don't crack your neck, you don't understand. Yeah, but meanwhile, like you coming yeah, here out. is viewed as this like insane indefensible act yeah, it that is because you ain't never supposed to go against your brother but he should i wonder if adam 22 has a brother i wonder because if he don't i would understand why he's oblivious to the situation but i don't even think he's oblivious either i think that um he just is portraying his role be able yeah. to ever I do no morals like what the fuck where's that come from but if you trying to get it off the ground man you have know said and and niggas is gatekeeping Shit, you gotta take your talents to South Beach or wherever you Yeah, I gotta move around. You gotta move around. <laughs> you don't gotta make a home here, but pop here, pop there. You can make a home here if you wanted to, nigga. It's up to you. You trying to get you together. If yeah. a motherfucker want you to use your car, you know what I mean? Use I'm that motherfucker to drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drive that motherfucker straight. Use your car, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you feel about uh uh pun and, and ace boy trey trying to kind of clown you for for washing cars part-time uh because they need ain't nothing wrong ain't nothing wrong with washing cars part-time i used to work at the car wash right there on like crenshaw stocker crenshaw 42nd that ain't there no more though right across from the liquor bank that ain't there no more but it's by the jacket box i used to work there i wash cars a lot of people know me from washing them cars man but i did my thing i used to run my tips up I used to run my tips up. I remember certain days walking out that car wash more times than not, especially during the summertime. I walk out with at least at least four hundred dollars in tips. Man, you knew, you knew. If I was in that thing washing cars, you wanted me to wash your car, and I would get the best tips, and I would work hard, and I would do what I had to do, and I wasn't ashamed, I wasn't embarrassed, and I was proud of my work, and I was proud of uh, the way that I was making chili because I was so far removed from getting in trouble for my chili, man. I didn't gone through a lot. But I say all that to say, it ain't nothing wrong with, with jobs and labor. I did construction and I was a janitor. I'm not I'm not ashamed of none of that. They cars washing the ace boy Trey, I don't even think he got a car. Oh. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was serving him, you know what I'm saying? After he tried to shoot his little shot, talking about he need his rims washed. I'm like, what rims? Mm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got uh, no job, the, Tommy. The, 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 the Uber rims or uh, the nigga that's picking you up rims. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, what kind of cars niggas got? Because I seen the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't just watch anything. It ain't exactly you know club live out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no car wash nigga like that. Well, I'm just watching anything. No yeah, random I'm bullshit with car. With the good pressure you gotta have some like... fly shit. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's a luxury treat. Wait, you got your old pressure wash. You I got, got the whole husband. brand yeah, he's set up. Thing. Brand that's new van. Okay, so he's a mobile car wash. That's dope. I would respect that. And That's what I'm saying. I never, it never even occurred to me to clown or, or have any kind of negative feelings towards the motherfucker who pays my car. Number one, because I pay the dude so well that I don't look at like yeah. I don't look at it as some bullshit as job. Yeah. Yeah. Giving the motherfucker three hundred dollars is like, yeah, all right, yeah. like he's a fucking. You got, got a nice one business. Of my homies, he's been doing that shit for twelve years. He got a nice bag, yeah, yeah. A decent, nice house. Listen, all the shit. You know what I'm saying? Nice car. Trap and... niggas ain't seeing that type of money. Yeah. Yo, yo, lowest serve today go be seventy five. Eighty dollars. That's just for the hubby for a regular year. Yeah. Now I'm going somewhere go else. Detailing. It's a dollar twenty. Uh, yeah. Two hundred. Yeah. Two, yeah, two three hundred. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what you busting, who opera, what you call it, a wooty band, you might bust you a fiver. You feel me? A little fiver. You feel me? Damn. When I have the fool come through and do me and my girl's car, I'm I'm mad. When I got when the dude comes through, he only do the inside. I wash my outside of my own car. I like to go to the. Uh, uh, to to like my like little AutoZone or Pet Boys or whatever, blah blah. I get the little stuff or I ordered off Amazon. You know what I'm saying? I find me a little spot and I wash my own car like that. You feel me? I had my pops in my life. I know how to wash a car, but um, cause I don't nobody quite get it right. How I get it right? You feel me? I hit it with the turtle wax and buffer the whole. Walk. Don't worry about it, man. It's uh, all that. But the dude who come through and um, when I don't feel like cleaning out the inside or the kids soccer practice, boo woo, to come out and clean this truck, that dude charged me four hundred and fifty dollars to clean this truck. I'm sorry, $350 to clean this truck. Not $400, I lied. $350 to clean this truck. So I can understand that if you got like a, a Maybach, something like that with them special extra woo wops on the seats and all that kind of stuff, I can imagine that that's going to cost you a nifty nickel. 
no Crit Mac. Shout out to Crit Mac though. Free him to the after. Like, I yeah, feel like yeah, I got robbed. Like, yeah, 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 like, you're yeah, charging yeah, too much, yeah, but I'm going to fuck with it because I need it. But what the fuck? Hey, you like me. Like, yeah, it don't a, matter if I got it. That was. I had to hit the auto start. I need that AC back on me, dog. It's hot. Fuck that. Like, I can do this shit myself. You, you. <laughs> it's a luxury service, man. You know, it's for people that don't like to go to the car wash. Right. That's me. You know what I'm saying? So if I got to drive to you, and really bust you down how the car wash not going to bust you down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can tell the difference yeah. from a car wash to yeah. a detail wash. A detail mm. wash. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everything a nigga using is different, like the water. I got to go buy the water. Mm. I'm not getting the water from the regular My pipeline. response to the same you know nigga because I don't work for a nigga. Yeah. Now you want to talk, nigga. I got something outside of just working for a nigga. So yeah. Nigga, yeah. I got my own company, nigga. Mm. This motherfucker can make money whoever I put in the driver's seat. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't got to go wash everyone, nigga, if I didn't want to, nigga, nigga. Hey, look, all money in, man, man, that, that, yeah. that shit crazy. And I, I, like I said, I ain't just Because no, that was a company I was thinking about uh, starting. Mm. I just ain't no a random, that shit service. like a hobby of mine, you know what I'm saying? Because I keep all my shit clean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. and then my boy, me and him, you know, that's what we do. So, yeah. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to get me a setup. And you know what I'm saying? Give me a couple clients that I know, but I ain't washing every nigga car on the block. And I'm like, nigga, you need to go to the car wash. Nigga, it's not for you. So, <laughs> people also underestimate the difference between, like, dudes will give you respect for, for pimping or for selling drugs or whatever, where you have a yeah. significant chance of getting in trouble and having to pay 40 grand on a lawyer or whatever. But That's then meanwhile, bad, you get a hustle going for you that literally has a 0% chance of anything like going <laughs> wrong or whatever. It's like that. It's worth more in dollars than it. If we knew exactly how much money you make, is it's like worth more than that because of the fact that there's not risk associated with it. You know? Yeah, that's it. You know, we could leave that right there, man, because that's a positive way to end it, and it always means a lot more when it's no risk associated. Because we need people to be on the streets and free, not uh, locked up over little two tip for tats, little nickels and dimes, and all that kind of stuff. With that being said, man, make sure I log in to T R A P N E W S N E T W N E T W O R X. That's the Instagram. You need marketing, advertising, promotion through TNA Trap Music Network, or if you want to get registered for live music review, go ahead and hit that with what with you, bam. Subscribe, become part of the Trap Mafia. Notification bell, top it all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNA Trap Music Network? We get like two hundred fifty dollars Sunday, May nineteenth, three o'clock pacific time six o'clock eastern time red dot slide it to the left figure out how to get some of that good chiliana and y'all already know the rest it's free avenue angel until he's free